API version is the practice of managing changes to your APIs by ensuring that these changes are made without disrupting client applications. A good API versioning strategy clearly communicates changes made and allows API consumers to decide when to upgrade or not to the latest version. My name is Bobur. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to enable multiple API versioning using Apache API 6. API 6 offers uh, multiple methods to implement API versioning, like a URA pass based versioning, query based, or header based. Let's uh, go through the each method to understand how they work. The most common way to version your API is uh, in the URA path. It's often done with the prefix v1. This method employs a URI routing to direct request to the specific version of the API. And API 6 can route the request to different backend upstream services based on the URA path you specified. Next one is using query parameters. In this method, the version number is included in the URI, but as a query parameter instead of in the pass. And API 6 routes a request based on the query parameters. For example, if it's a, there's a query parameter version v1, API 6 routes a request to the uh, backend service called v1. Also, a custom request header, you can also include these versions. A version number using the custom headers in the requests and even in responses. This leaves the URI of your resources unchanged. You just add additional header, like a, in the header you can call the version v1 or version 2. And basics can be configured to the route request by checking these header values and finding out the responsible upstream service to handle these requests. Another way of achieving uh, the same, by the more formal way, client application can leverage accept header to communicate with API 6 to handle different versions. Uh, this uh, can be agreed uh, upon with client application, like a content type format, follow this pattern, like where uh, you can specify reverse domain name and version number and what kind of uh, format your API is accepting. In our case, it's uh, like a JSON. In general, implementing API versioning at API gateway level can be very necessary for your APIs, like uh, for backward compatibility, it can help uh, you to maintain uh, always your APIs as a backward compatible by uh, ensuring that existing clients can still function correctly even after new versions are released and you can also do smooth transition clients uh, using the v1 can smoothly transition to new versions without any failure and also so you can specify that some very specific features because different api versions can offer different features uh, you can uh, allow your users gradually move from v1 to v12 version by using different features and uh, there is also api gateway level provides deprecation management where older versions can be deprecated systematically providing uh, clear communication to clients by notifying them that uh, the existing the API is going to be deprecated soon, they should upgrade the existing APIs. API 6 is flexible enough to support all versioning strategies. Keeping this knowledge in mind, let's have a look in this tutorial how to publish and manage multiple versions of your API with Apache API 6. For the demo, we will leverage existing sample repository on GitHub. It's called API versioning and the link to the GitHub repository you can find in the video description. You can see uh, complete the source code there, how to version API 6 with sample commands to access the service. First, uh, you need to clone this repository and open in your favorite editor. After you open the project, you can see the two uh, folders under API versioning report and docker composable file which provides us and it brings some necessary services like api 6 and two sample backend applications for versioning one and for version two this can be any upstream backend service in my case i'm running nginx api service for example uh, if you look at the web one dot configuration uh, it returns just hello from v1 which is our backend service v1 version and we have also the v2 version exists uh, in this docker compose configuration and if you open the config 
a YAML file, there are API 6 and config YAML files because we are running uh, API 6 in standalone mode where uh, we are not using data plane, but data plane is taking all this route configuration, upstream configuration from static YAML file called API 6.yaml. And uh, here, as you can see, we have some rules, uh, configurations. Uh, we define it for API 6. We have two upstreams that is the same our uh, backend applications uh, with single nodes of each and we are defining some routes for different versioning scenarios. For example, if you took a, take a look at URA pass-based versioning config, in pass-based versioning we have two routes v1 and slash v2 as you can see and slash v1 routes request to upstream one and next routes uh, all the calls to upstream two and we are also liberating proxy rewrite plugin to rewrite the query parameters by removing the versioning, we are using regex parameters to rewrite the upcoming request and route the upcoming request to the upstream uh, by removing the request parameters just the slash we want. In the second uh, route configuration, pretty much the same, we are using the same proxy rewrite plugin, but we are just rewriting query parameters from v2 to just a slash because our upstream services uh, provides uh, uh, just a slash endpoint as you notice it uh, in the uh, upstream configuration. So and the next one is in um, our configuration is query based versioning. In this case, uh, we are not using any plugin, but we are using two more parameters for the route, uh, route configuration. Uh, like uh, we are using the VARS parameters, we are using the VAR parameters, we are evaluating query uh, parameter call it the uh, version if it's uh, uh, equal to v1 we are use also using additional attribute called priority uh, to if the boss route match the same URA in this case uh, slash stars uh, this priority uh, able to evaluate uh, their order if the API 6 evaluates first highest order like a priority 5 which means all the v1 uh, calls uh, in the required parameter will be forwarded to upstream one which means in this uh, route configuration uh, when you don't specify any version in the request uh, route will be forwarded to version one by default because it has a priority higher than the, the version two and the last uh, way of uh, versioning config is header based in this case we are creating three routes with uh, three different priorities uh, where our version one has a higher priority than others and we are accepting also HTTP headers uh, as I explained earlier with uh, uh, the predefined the versioning uh, format and if there is a uh, no version mentioned here the uh, API 6 routes uh, all the uh, requests to the upstream uh, first upstream, in our case is the first version of our backend service. After we understood how the API 6 configurations can be done using uh, YAML files for different uh, types of versioning, we can jump to our terminal and run this uh, application using Docker. I just run a new terminal and do docker compose app to run API 6 and two more backend services. Uh, once all the services are running. You can also see running uh, services on Docker desktop. As you can see, our Docker container is up and running uh, with uh, two different versions. And now we can uh, try these uh, following commands, uh, kernel commands, to, to test if our versioning configs are working properly, uh, starting with uh, pass based and, uh, and also how the query parameter works and header based. I will switch back to the terminal, uh, start to test pass based uh, API versioning by sending the uh, request as v1. As you can see, API 6 response uh, actually uh, brings a response from the backend service v1. If you change the parameter to v2, uh, the second version of the backend service will be called. This is how the URA pass based versioning works. 
Next, for example, if we uh, set uh, versions of the APIs, uh, quality parameters, as you can see, you will get uh, the same response from backend service number one and backend service number two. What about header-based calls? So we can test it out also quickly. Uh, here we go. As you can see here, we are uh, sending a header called accept and by specifying also the versions. In this case, uh, first request will be forwarded to backend to service version 1 and second call will be forwarded to the backend service v2. That's uh, how the API 6 routing mechanism works for multiple API version supports. More learning materials you can find also on API 6 website. There is a special tutorial on how to add multiple API versioning. The same blog post version of the tutorial you can also read from the blog post by Nicola Frankel. It's called API versioning, two links I'm also leaving out in the video description. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.